Let's go ahead and get into this Scott, Sophia, Kylie and Travis, Kylie and Jordan, Chloe and Lamar news. Core Jenner Tito! Let's kick it off with this Scott and Sophia news because it is my absolute favorite and proves that Courtney and I could hang out with Scott and Sophia. Sophia Richie posted on her Instagram story a sweet surprise that she received from Scott Disick, and that sweet surprise was McDonald's mm. on her private jet. Mm. And wow, have you ever mm. respected their relationship more than so, in this moment? Because I haven't. Some Mickey D's in the midst of the glitz and the ritz. Right? I feel like that <laughs> is like, us in a nutshell. We on the PJ. You know what I mean? Like we love a bougie moment, but also we're never against the McDonald's. So oh, shout out to that. Scott Disick for having exquisite, exquisite taste in fast food cuisine. How far away was McDonald's from the private jet? Right? I don't even know if Scott was there, if he just had it delivered, if he surprised her with it. My food better have been warm. Either way, I find that a good surprise. It's, it's not a good surprise if my McDonald's is cold. I'm sure Scott Disick. If it was delivered, put it in a hot box. He would make sure that whoever was outside delivering of the it bag with the grease spots. had it together. Yes, okay. I'm sure. Okay, you guys. So a little update on Kylie and Travis and their family outing. Um, a story spoke to Hollywood Life who saw them at the little trampoline okay. and then take their little family outing to the mall. They reportedly looked really happy. They looked like a little happy family together. Uh, the eyewitness mentioned that Kylie and Travis were not seen kissing or holding hands, but it was clear they were definitely comfortable and friendly. Okay. The source went on to say they seemed to be in a great mood and were just enjoying the family outing. That's I actually hard. think that's very mature because I think if Stormy saw her parents mm -hmm. showing affection, even though she's little, you automatically will link them together. And I think that just speaks to Kylie's maturity, her and Travis's maturity in this co-parenting relationship. Um, I like that we have them as a good co-parenting example. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to like Kylie or Travis, but I mean, there's minimal mess in their relationship from what we can see. Exactly. And that's what I love. Okay, let's move on and talk about Kylie and Jordan, you guys. There's a new report from Us Magazine updating us on how Kylie is a year after her friendship with Jordan has ended. Mm. And the source said that Kylie has been doing, quote, well. The source went on to say that Kylie, quote, loves hanging out with all of her crew of girls now, which includes Stassi, Yiris, Yiris, and Victoria. Interesting mm. that Sophia wasn't explicitly mentioned, but mm. I'm gonna choose to believe that wasn't shade. Uh, Kylie is reportedly very comfortable and her complete and is her complete self in this friend group. They all just reportedly have fun together like any close group of friends. Kylie don't know any other rich black girls, but also in the same breath, Madison, I feel like if she just randomly had a black girlfriend out of any out of would nowhere, I would be like, well, why is she trying to replace Jordan? See, mm. this is all a plan, this is all a stunt. Uh. Yeah, I honestly mm. think that Kylie doing well is the perfect way to describe it because I did see some headlines taking this report and making it sound like Kylie's thriving after her friendship. Kylie's, mm. you know, living her best life. I don't necessarily believe that to be true because mm. I really think when you have someone who is such an integral part of your life, I mean, really, if you watched Life of Kylie, Jordan and Kylie were almost cool like star. partners in a sense. Yeah. I mean, they did everything together. So, well, yes, Kylie has survived, of course. Kylie's a She's a billionaire, she's gonna be all right. She has a child, she has to pick herself up by her bootstraps. She can't wallow around all day because she lost a friend. Mm -hmm. Do I think she's thriving? No. Do I think that she's found solace in the group of friends that she still has? Yes. Do I think any of those friendships compare to the one she had with Jordan? No. But I think that she's able to definitely survive and still have you know, healthy, positive friendships. Not to make it sound dramatic, but w if there would be almost kind of like a power struggle, mm -hmm. like we don't know if Kylie, when the cameras were off, was like, girl, get my bag. You know what I mean? And Jordan might be like, get your own bag. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, Kylie, yeah. how about you grab my bag? Like, you know what I mean? You just never know. That's true. Interesting, because people change. You don't, Kylie and Jordan don't know each other. People change every single day. It's been a whole year. They're literally strangers and at this point. And a big year of change and growth Yeah. as well. Like. It's not just been a year of them not being friends. Like mm. this has been really the first year where Kylie has been put to the test of being a full-time mother. Mm. And Jordan has really been put to the test of having a career completely, completely without any connection or correlation to Kylie. They both so, have to learn how to stand on their own. Exactly, it's been a really big, big year of growth for them. And I do believe that even if they did become friends again, it would be completely different. And I don't ever believe they'll be as close as they were because just when it boils down to it, 
Kylie becoming friends with Jordan again, even if we disagree, it will be looked upon as she's going against her family in a sense. Mm -hmm. I'm I don't necessarily agree with that, but that's when you just really make it simple, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that they'll ever be able to maintain the friendship they had before. Okay, you guys, last little bit of card energy time. Uh, Chloe and Lamar. So Chloe Kardashian, some of her other family members, as well as Kris Jenner, they also attended Kobe Bryant's memorial service yesterday. Lamar Odom was also in attendance. And mm -hmm. so there was some very brief chatter of whether or not they were going to cross paths. Mm -hmm. um, a source spoke to Hollywood Life and said that Lamar was not worried about seeing Chloe or really any of the family members. He was there solely to focus on obviously Kobe and Gianna. And the fact that that even needed to be a story, Annoying. I really hated. Yeah, I agree. Because I'm like, honestly, even though we've been giving Chloe a little bit of a hard time lately mm -hmm. and deserved, I would never in a million quadrillion years think that Chloe, the Car Jenners, mm -hmm. or Lamar would take a situation like yesterday and make any sort of drama out of it. From what I saw, they were focusing on everything else but the actual memorial. They were missing the point. They so were to missing speak. the point. Yeah. And again, the fact that this was a story tells me still some people were missing the point. Yeah. And I feel like it was important for the Car Jenners to be there. And I know that's kind of a bit of a controversial opinion, but they were part of the same neighborhood. They all kind of inadvertently were in the same social group and after just the horrendous horrendous comments that took place on twitter i was happy that they were there thanks so much for checking out our video if you like what you saw please give it a share and a thumbs up after that feel free to check out any of our other videos shop our holly scoop store subscribe and click that notification bell